Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Real Mist Masterpiece Edition. And when we last left off, we'd done a little bit of light reading from all these books here. And we'd figured out that this picture will actually let us rotate the tower. Now, so far, it's facing that way, which means nothing. But apparently, facing it in certain locations will achieve certain things. But at the moment, it's not doing anything. This, I believe, has something to do with those switches. Do you remember those switches that we found in various areas? Let's uh, turn some of these on. Memory serves, these switches have a purpose. And that purpose is to identify them on these places on the map in that area. So that we can turn the tower to rotate in their direction. Now, it took me a while to figure this out when I first played. It's one of the things I do actually remember. You need to remember the tower rotation, as Atras said to Catherine. Now, the tower rotation may not seem important at the moment, but it certainly will later. I wasn't uh, switching these at the time because there was really no reason to. Like, sure, I could flick the switches, but I wouldn't actually know what I was doing in doing so. So, we're going to turn all these switches right now. Now, we flicked that one, and there are a few more we need to do. they going to leave those buttons where they are. I have no idea what they do. Let's see. need to turn all these buttons. Alright. Or rather, switches. There we go. That one will turn up like that. There are a few more we need to do. There's one down here and a few down there. I don't quite know if we need to tell to pull all the um, levers, but I will do so. There's one here. Let's uh, pull this one up. It, come on. Up. Up. Do I need to turn this round so that I can get a good handle on it? There we go. Needed to turn that round. There's, we can't reach that one because it's by that tower, and that tower is... Well, there's water. We don't know how deep it is. We don't know if there's anything horrible in there that will kill us if we go in there. I mean, there might not be. It looks like quite a nice place. But it might not be. There might be horrible death creatures in the water. Right. Now, if we look at this... Ah, do you see all those things that are on here now? Absolutely loads of them. Right. Let's think about this. So. See, we can rotate it to that. And there's a red line. Which indicates that there's something significant there. But that's not going to help us because we can't get anything from that. Now, people may have noticed that there are two pictures. There's this one, which doesn't work. But there's this one. Over here. That looks good different. We haven't seen anything like this. Let's push it. And while we do that, that lowers to a passageway. We cannot leave while it's like this, because this room has literally rotated. So now we can go through, and up, and beyond. In this corridor, to a lift. Now, there doesn't appear to be anything in this actual area, but that's not true. There is a door. And what do you do in a lift? Well, there's the library button, which I suppose we could press, but there's probably another button somewhere that we could press instead. Let's press this for now. Oh. Doesn't do anything. <sighs> hmm. Ah! Does something now? You need the door shut. Now, where are we going to go? Here we are! We have made it. Now, not much in here, but there is a ladder. Let's climb up. There we go. So we're looking at that. Is there anything here? A clue or something? No. There doesn't appear to be anything here that will help us. At all. Well, that did not help. 
So we don't want to look at that. <laughs> oh, can't head down. Not until we shut the door. Safety first. <laughs> we could fall here and get ourselves killed. And we wouldn't want that. So, let's head down. We have arrived at the library. So, we don't want to look at that. That is not going to help. There are other things, however, we can focus on. How about... that? Let us focus on that. We'll go through these methodically, one at a time, and see if we can find anything from doing so. Catherine was told by Atras to remember the tower rotation. So let's see. That currently is not pointing at anything. It's not saying anything to us there. Okay. Tower. We are here. Is there something up here for us this time? The answer is a resounding... No. And there's nothing at all that will help us with this. So we shouldn't be pointing at that either. Not helpful. Oh, what is there? Aha! Seven, two, four. Turns out there might have in fact been something useful in the other place. Seven, two, four. Now, if you hadn't have thought of exploring that there, you wouldn't have figured that out. I certainly didn't, the first one I went to. So we're going to go back to the first one, and we're going to have a look there, because it looks like there's probably a clue there, too. I believe this tower provides you with all the clues you need to get to all the different worlds that were described in those books. Let's uh, go back to the other one and rotate it back, shall we? So we left it. No, no, no. Wanna keep going. To there. There we go. We'll head back to here and we'll go round to the other side and see what we can find. See what we can uncover. <laughs> it's a lot of backtracking to keep doing this, but it will be worth it when we get everything. When we get everything. So, is there a clue on this side? Right, let's go round. There does appear to be a clue. Let's have a look. The clue is... Okay. The clue is... October... The 11th, 1984... 10.04 a.m. January the 17th... 12.07, 5.54 a.m. And that looks like November the 23rd, 9,791, 6.57 p.m. Okay, that's a clue, and that's a clue. All right. We've got some clues. We have two clues now. But there are more clues yet to get. We need to get all of them. Because we can't get to anywhere without them. Oh. Open shuts. Down we go! Doesn't do it any faster each time you do it. If only the lift had an impetus for us, like, with haste lift! And the lift was like, certainly, I will go at twice the speed. But no. It has been built to work effectively. Imagine if you actually had to get places and this was the typical route of doing it. So, we done that one. Then we did that one. Hang on, there must be some other ones. So there's that one. There's this one. There's this one. There was that one. That one doesn't point to anything. Neither does that one. This one does, however. This one does. Right. Okay. Alright. So. Let's go up here for this one. And see what we can get. 
Up. And around. Puzzle solving! We've been given all the clues already in the game to solve all of this. Right, what is here? Okay, up here... That was a weird spin they did there. 59 volts! Okay, 59 volts is the solution to that puzzle. We've seen something with volts before. We've also seen something that has dates on it. We've seen something with a code as well, I think? We did see a safe. There was a safe. There's one more thing we can point out, and that's the cogs. That is the cogs. Okay. <laughs> right. One more to look at, and I think it's the cogs. And then we'll turn this back round and we'll have a look. See if we can solve some of these puzzles. Alright. So we turn this round. To here. There we go, it's now pointing towards the cogs. And we'll head back up one more time! And I think there's nothing else for it to point out right now. Right now, anyway. Okay. In we go! And up we go! It's a nice, smooth little lift ride. Can't complain. It's no teleporter, but this person's able to ink world into existence. That's quite a feat. Here we go. Okay. 240. 221. Alright. 240. 221. I think I know what that refers to as well. Because we've seen a clock. There was a clock on that tower. It, no, no, no. We actually need to get through there. There was a clock on the tower that's um, on the island. Let's try... That's the one I'm going to try first. Let's try and turn that clock... Ah, let's be, uh, let's be orderly. Close that. Let, what happens if we go around the... No, going around the back, there was nothing there. There was nothing there, I don't think. So let's try turning that clock to 240. Doesn't matter where we point the uh, tower, I don't think. That should now do nothing if we click on it. Yeah, does nothing. However, this one should now do something. You see, that folds up. And now we can leave. Excellent. That seems like a result. Now, remember that? Yep, see, there is in fact a clock face there. Let's see if we can turn that clock face to 240, shall we? Alright, what do we got here? That changes the minute hand. So let's move it to 40 and 2. 240! Excellent! That looks like a solution to a puzzle. And here, we can pull this switch up. Now, before we go in there, I have a theory that there is one more thing that we can do there, and that is that we could probably turn the tower to face that and see if there's something there. Because before, we hadn't actually uh, been able to turn it there. See if we uh, go here. Will it work? Hmm, no, it won't. Just give it a go, one more look. No, can't do that. Okay, never mind. Let's go in there, though. So, 240 was the solution to that puzzle. It was the solution. 240. Okay. Now, what about 221? Because this opens this up. With little cogs. It's quite nice. Let's open the door. Ah. 221, eh? None of these work. Ah. Okay, they do work. 2, 2, 
one, eh? Hmm. Two, two, one. Getting there. Ah. Ah, that resets it. Okay, we only have so many turns to do it. So that makes that. That does that. Hmm. Let's have a look here. Ah, hang on. Ah, I think... Oh! I see what, I see what we need to do. We need to reset this to 221. Okay, so I want to pull that one first. Then this one. Is that going to do it? Probably not. No, it's not going to do it. Okay. So they're all at 3311. So if we make it... Like that. is we sort of need to move them together so that they uh, move so that it's 3-3 three, three. so the left switch pulls the bottom two and the right switch pulls the top two. We need two two and one. So pretty much you need to move this one once and these ones three times. So if we pull this once then that then this then that then this, that, hmm, oh, oh no, no, wait a minute. So we need to move them differently, I think. Yeah, we do need to move them differently. Just trying to solve this in a sort of, the, uh, the solution is most likely very obvious. Who's the most likely very, very obvious? So actually we want two, one here, and we just want... It so that we can let's see. So we move that one first. That becomes one one three. See two two one is right there. I'm gonna pull this one again. Then I'm gonna pull this one. Then this one. Then this one again. Mm. Getting there. We had two two three there. Which is pretty close. We actually got all the way back to what it was before. Hmm. Let's pull this once. Pull it again. Pull this one. This one. Let's pull that again. Getting there. Because we have 2 3 1 here. This is probably all so that we can get access to one of those books, isn't it? Get access to one of those link books so we can get to one of the worlds. So we'll pull this one first. Then this one. This one again. This one. Hmm. See, we're close there. We're close there. But not quite close enough. Puzzle solving. Puzzle solving. One more attempt this video. And then... Then we'll see if I can do it next time. Probably be able to do it next time. Okay, let's see. So it's three, one, two, three. So I'll pull this once. And this again. Then this one. This one. This one. Hmm. I think I know how to do it now. The solution here is to get to get it so that you're moving the other one, so it's like one, two. 
So the one there and the two's there. Well, like the three's there and the um, the one's there. And um, get this to two pretty quickly. So we move this to two. Like that. Is that going to do it? That's two, two, three. You can see it because there's two, one, three there. And there's three, three, three. We've literally just gone all the way around in a circle there. But I think I see the solution to the problem. So when we come back, folks, I'll figure out the solution to this. And hopefully we'll open the way, hopefully, to one of the worlds. And then we might as well start solving the other ones, too. So I'll catch you then, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.